how mirror therapy works in the brain, let's look at the neurophysiology behind it. In mirror therapy, a mirror is placed in the patient's midline. When the patient looks into the mirror, they see the reflection of the healthy limb. But the brain perceives it as if both limbs are moving normally. The brain processes visual information very powerfully. It tricks the brain into thinking that the affected side is active. Visual feedback becomes stronger than sensory or motor feedback, and this activates motor areas of the brain related to the paralyzed limb. Mirror therapy taps into a special group of brain cells called mirror neurons. Mirror neurons fire both when you do an action and when you see someone else doing the same action. By watching the fake movement in the mirror, the brain stimulates the same motor pathways that would normally move the paralyzed limb. Even though the paralyzed side isn't moving, the brain areas related to movement stay active and prevent further forgetting, use it or lose it phenomenon. The brain remaps movement control from damaged areas to healthier areas. In summary, the brain learns a new way to control the old movement. In functional eFMRI imaging, it has been seen that increased activity in the primary motor cortex M1 when doing mirror therapy, activation in premotor areas and supplementary motor areas as well. So in mirror therapy, the chain of events is visual illusion, activation of mirror neurons, motor cortex stimulation, neuroplasticity, functional recovery.